the, the counter to Spectre is like pressuring him in lane. Do you think uh, the Mineski heroes are going to be able to handle that with what they have? Um, the support's pretty strong on Liquid side. We'll find out what the lines and then suddenly it turns it into like a 4v3 if there's a Trilane versus Trilane action and Nature's Prophet can tip the scales. Would take him away from this bottom lane for a little bit, but you can always use your TP scroll to get back after using your teleportation skill. Well, they're doing a pretty good job of zoning Miracle. He's not very harassed. Bottom lane, they've gone in on Nature's Prophet. Avalanche tossed back. They have a Frostbite fold up, and that's going to be first blood. Mushi brings down mind control. Gun. Plenty out of their lane. 15 and 5 on Mushi's side and CM 4 and 0. So, yeah, they've got a lot of these creeps. That was a uh, very, very nice little pickup there. I believe, yeah, using some of these side camps here, getting lots of good denies. Top lane, they've gone back in for a little clash once more. It's the. Uh, Jewel stuff is coming out from the well, coming out from the radiant side, but that's not going to be enough here. As Wraith King on full retreat, he will go down to Miracle. Jeff's going to try to get the follow up kill yeah. though. It's going to be low. He's got a yep. south though. And with the Skelly following, he's a little worried about getting interrupted. It's stopping the south. Yeah. All right, he's going to be safe to do it now. He yeah, actually just going to go. Who TP's out while salving. That's a little bit surprising. He TP'd only back to his shrine, so he didn't go all the way back home. Okay. And very smart one here on Liquid side, who you could say, yeah, he's having a good time. He's having a good lane, whereas both. Spectre and Nature's Prophet, while not getting completely shut down, aren't quite farming as well as Mineski. Yeah, maybe they'll catch up in a moment here, but I mean, this is one of the big reasons that you usually... Rada leaped in, gets the kill mid. Nice rotation from Ninja Boogie. Trilanes is because the Trilane usually helps you overwhelmingly win that one lane, but that other dual lane is going to be tough. And in this case, the dual lane is, uh, is still doing very well. Yep. Top lane. Stuns being exchanged between GH and Ice 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 as the... Jewel lane continues to hold their own up here, and the really nice thing about the, like, you, to kind of expand upon that is that it's not even just the fact you've got a 2v1 lane, this support CM can rotate between mid and bottom. He's helping two lanes at once, and Chantress barely single alive, will get the bounty room before potentially going down, and Jab still might be okay here. Actually gonna turn and fight here, the last word from the silencer, is it gonna be enough? Doesn't look like the damage is there, and he gets both bounty runes as well. Ninja Boogie getting the ones down bottom, and GH ends up going down. Effectively, I mean, Liquid was getting really good benefit from Arcane Curse. I think he had that, uh, Ice Ice had that Arcane Curse on him for like 15 seconds or something. Going in again on top, Miracle in all sorts of trouble. He's getting stunned and initiated on once more with the skeletons, and Jabs will finish him off with some right click points. And maybe a little ice 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 tanking towers too. Yeah, they messed, they, they glyphed there, but it was when the towers were actually hitting the heroes. They could have perhaps kept these siege creeps alive if they timed that glyph better, which was a bit of a mistake, but... Either way, that's a lot of tower damage in a lane that's supposed to be an off lane. Maybe now they yeah. kill the safe lane, yeah. Profit gets cleaned up with the Marana rotation. And even the, the big recent engine nerfs were to the mana cost of the level 1 nature's attendant, but with CM Aura and the, the dual lane versus tri-lane and magic sync charges, there's never been any mana problems for Jabs, who's now going to find another initiation and another kill, brings down Kuro, 2v3, Mineski are just crushing this top lane. They're not stopping Spectre farming, oh, first Reaper of the game going to come out, as Necrophos looks for a kill, we'll end up bringing down Ninja Boogie, not perhaps here, no interest in defending, is actually just trying to get some jungle on Miracle though, and run into Jabs in the trees there. Jab's already level 6, so it's so good. The Impetus up, he gets a whole lot harder to deal with. He may be able to just solo kill the bench behind the tier 1 tower and back in the mid lane. Matu actually goes down. He popped the Ghost Drop with the double Star Storm, hits him, and deletes him from the game for the next 25 seconds as Crystal Maiden will be the price. Mind Control TPing in. Two. Yeah, he leaps, but he's got this uh, Arcane Curse on so he's going to take a lot of damage. Has 9 more charges. Should be okay even without popping them. So he holds on to them as Mushi. Needs to be careful on mid. It looks like yeah, Spectre, wow, time. surviving on a sliver of HP on top. Can Ice 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 will finish him off as the action also continues to unfold back. In, any gold that he can get in levels are huge because he does pick up six from this, so at least he can get in the game easier no matter where he is. And finally, their global strats online, essentially. Yeah. Oh, Arrow not going to land on March in the mid lane. The Star Storm is there. The Reaper coming out. Will it get the kill? Not quite. The Sun's coming too late, but Necro will not get the kill. It's Miracle instead getting a double. Fantastic recovery for the Spectre who just respawned. You talked about the global. That's what we're seeing here. These heroes can just be anywhere on the map so quickly. The Nexus Prophet TP the Spectre. Halt when it's up. Wraith King does not have ultimate here. He's being blocked by the Treants after the Sprout. Great cleanup coming from Liquid in the mid lane. They get the tier 1 tower on top of it. Losing GH in the back line. Let's we'll snag him there. Uh, looked like he missed his Avatos a little. Perhaps. But no kill. Crow in trouble now though. Yep. Kuro 
as a sentry, but the Observer was on the high ground and he didn't get a cool. chance to go and check it, but the TP coming in, Mind Control wants to turn and fight this one. There's going to be Crystal Main Ultimate from Ninja Boogie. They need to bring him down as quickly as possible. Spectre, not the one who gets the last hit, but did help bring him down. Jabs is going to TP on out. Swap going to cancel it. Invis is there from the Miranda Moonlight Shadow, but the Dust is going to stop this one from being too effective, and the chase is on. Jabs, two points in Untouchable. Get some help from Ice Ice Ice. The Wraith Fire Blast into an arrow. Long stun coming out onto Miracle. Ice Ice Ice, he doesn't have his ultimate for 10 more seconds. He's going to be careful. He gets dusted as well. A full retreat here should be okay. They just don't quite have the damage. Bring it down, and Mushi, he does not lack the damage. Turns around, gets in there with a combo. The leaked Kura from the game, and the chase is once again on from Maneski. These guys just don't know the words stop, retreat. They are just chasing, chasing, chasing for more. Listen, just being aggressive, but um, Tiny's still sitting around the top lane. He did spot Nature's Prophet before. He's going to find him again here. Not very good for, for mind control. Gets the Abba toss up, but drum charges will help Mushi run away, and the tree toss is going to bring it down just to 30 health. Mushi going to pay the price. 50 seconds, he's dead for. Here comes the hole with the global silence. This is the big team fight of Team Liquid. Even when they're down 5k gold, they pack a punch when they group up and play with their ultimates. Ice side side going back in with the arrow into Star Storm. They take down the Necrophos. He's going to be respawning in a second with that reincarnation here as Moon forced to retreat, silenced up. Does get the leap away though, wants to maybe turn around and help Ice Ice Ice, who is somewhat on his own against four heroes. Stunned up, he's in all sorts of trouble here. Crystal Maiden just wants to get the hell out of there, but I don't even know if he can do that one. Drops a freezing field miracle. Gonna not get the kill himself, it's Kuro getting a double kill of all things. And oh, he gets a triple! No the way. Curse. They maybe turn it into the wrong items, perhaps. Um, Ice 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 opted for a Midas. Which kind of reminds me of the last time I saw him do this. It, it felt he had a really good early game, and then they got kind of the mid game, and it felt a little weak. Maybe able to get a Matumba kill here. There's the enchant fall up. Yes. It's a frostbite into arrow. Ooh, that Reaper almost bringing down the tiny. He barely gets away. They did throw the global out here, so. Vineski can just retreat back off and disengage, but there's a long range swap, pulling jabs back in. He's still taking damage over time. The right clicks should be enough. Yep, he goes down, as does Mushi. In deep was G8 to help make sure they could get that kill, and Liquid are just outplaying. It's the case, he should have just gotten Blink first, because yep. it would have helped them win some of those mid-game team fights where things got bad. Bounty Rune's coming up here, so we'll see if Ice tests this one a little. Yeah, he is. Good one to fight this one, they're going to throw out the Global Silence team, Matu in the front lines, oh, being bailed out a bit by that one. And I, I think Ice actually kind of well, spun you him, but, yeah. but ultimately that was really good for Menace to make that slightly delayed while still getting a lot of items on their side. So that'll provide provided them some cover to now finish the Radiance and never mind, here comes the swap in. Should be Raid King's first death. Yep, okay. We'll get it, but I don't know about the second kill here. We'll see if they've got the tools to do this. He does use the Quelling Blade, but he's still trapped in the, the Sprout here. Matu has a Reaper, is the coming up? It looks like it. Miracle comes in with a Horn as well to make sure they can take this fight. He's looking for more. Ninja Boogie does end up getting dusted up here. Miracle Manta out of the Frostbite. Easy kill into the Crystal Maiden as they set themselves up to team fight. They're a little bit maybe too early. The Horn is 15 seconds away, and actually Miracle's going to TP in. I think recognizing that his team may find a fight right away, and they sure as hell are. They're going to go right in on Ice Ice Ice, who does have reincarnation, but he's being swapped out of position. Something you talked about, and Kuro with the Global Silence gets arrowed, though, before he can use it. They can kill him quickly. That'd be huge for them, and it looks like they'll succeed in doing so. No Global for this fight. The Reaper comes out. They don't get the Reaper kill on the Wraith King, but he still goes down nonetheless, and it's Mind Control kicking out two moons. BKB, he's trapped the Sprout Block. What a play from Nature's Prophet, blocking him on the low ground. He couldn't get out. He had no leap charges left, and Mushi in trouble as well. Should be finished off. Miracle getting the kill, and it all as they go hunting for more jabs. Can't get out of the sprout. One or two more right clicks. Miracle. Huge place. Gets the full team wipe at all for Ice Ice Ice. Yes. At this point, it definitely feels a lot like a mistake. They've lost so much opportunity to, to provide tempo here. They might catch Matumbo Man top, at least. Got Spirit Vessel charges to reduce the heal, but hey, there's still a global silence. Moon goes in with the BKB, though. Tries to leap in and finish off Matu, who does have the Ghost Shroud. Death Pulse heals. They're going to immediately kill the Crystal Man. They do end up finishing off the Necrophos, but Spectre's in here just cleaning up. Takes down the Wraith King with the help of the Diffusal Blade. Didn't have Reincarnation anyways. Mind Control dusts it up. That does allow Moon to get the kill on him, but Moon out of leap charges once again in some trouble. Ninja Boogie getting like two shotted by Miracle, who's got a double damage on Spectre. Wants some more, wants Mushi, but can't quite get it because Mushi has actually salvaged this fight with the help of Jabs. These two heroes holding their own, but Miracle, he's a little bit stronger. He's got the Aegis, the Spirit Vessel's going to take him down low. Mushi just doesn't want to deal with him. Toss him, do something. Get rid of that damn Spectre. He will respawn with the Aegis. 
Mushi, does he go for another kill? He's going to avalanche and just blink away, it looks like. Dagger's going to chase him down, though. Miracle, I think, is going to dive this one. You can't disjoint that with the blink dagger. And Miracle's going in for the fountain. He's got the defusal blade. Where's the buyback? Somebody help Mushi out. He's too late. He's already dead. Moon even bought back for it. Miracle knew. And Mushi did not, apparently. you got to get out. He shouldn't have stuck around. He yeah. needed to blink away sooner. Or he needed to stick closer to the creep wave. That way he could at least try to toss Miracle. Spirit Festival Rush from Enchantress was a bit weak, perhaps. Maybe he should have gone yeah. more right-click heavy, like Dragonlance or something. Oh, instant kill. What a grab. Two minutes, he just fought back as well. Kevin, this uh, does not bode well for Mineski. Yeah, not at all. A dieback with a Reaper kill is, you know, in the SEA, you call that Facebook time. That's when you tab out and you get on Facebook and, you know, you go do something else because you're not playing Dota for the next couple of minutes here. Spectre, Miracle, he is playing Dota. He's haunting around, he's juking them. He's making all the plays here. Takes down the Wraith King's first life. Didn't quite burn enough mana here as there were mangoes on the Wraith King as well, but he will easily kill him a second time. And Liquid on the high ground, they're going to look to focus down the tier 3 tower now. Earn charge to heal up Miracle, get him back in fighting shape. And it, it is not just Necro being effective against Wraith King, it's also the Vengeful Spirit. The fact that he doesn't have any armor items, and he has to deal with Wave of Terror and a Medallion, even right clicks kill this guy so fast. That's where, yeah, the itemization has maybe just been not quite what Maneski needed. Even 3,000 gold on Ice 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 that hasn't been spent. Just seems there's this level of uncertainty yeah. about what to do. And Maneski, go down. Yeah. Game one, going Liquid's way. Man, Liquid is so good at Dota. That looked like one of those ultra stomp games where the laning stage was a massive deficit, but... But I still don't know which way their cores are going to go. I, I could see Avenge Core laning okay against the PA, just lots of nuke damage, just nuker. It's the way to beat her. Yeah, they can probably get a solo kill, or they can kill him with first blood, but it's not worth ruining your laning stage for that. Is this going to be the first blood? He does start or immediately turn around to run back to his tier 2 tower, but he looks done for here. He's being body blocked perfectly by GH, and there's no avalanche, so first blood. It was so close for a minute low. We'll have a salve here, but good early harass coming out from Jabs. The Necro's help. It was tiny, the counter to Pugna. This decrypt, then you just throw trees and you don't care about the, the decrypt. Rolling top. Ninja Boogie. It's been gone on. It's caught by the slow GH. Is the Orb of Venom slow? This may just be a kill here. Mind Control had the enchant as well. One or two more right clicks. Shaman, this is... You know, this is why Shaman isn't seeing too much play. He is so bad when he gets bullied in lane. He loves the 2v1s, but anytime that 2v1 is at even 2v2, he is not happy. And I wouldn't even call this an even one. I mean, they got they got first blood. They have a second kill now. It's a it's an orb of venom on Earth Spirit with a guy that's got high HP. Like they're just gonna chase him down here. Mushi does dodge the boulder, the, yeah. the rolling boulder at least. But every time they run at him, he's got to run so far away, and he's not gonna trade well back. And yeah, and even in this top lane, Ninja Bogey, you're talking about pairing him with a PA versus you know an Enchantress. The core matchup is a hero that's just gonna harass and be much stronger in lane, at least until PA gets some more levels in the dagger. So very hard stuff. Mineski to play this top lane. CS wise though, it's still looking okay for them. The cores aren't having too much of a bad time in lane, so by no means a one-sided affair. Rolled on the top, uh, again yeah. top. Enchant into rolling blink, boulder. Blink escape, yep. Ninja Boogie comes on over to give him a blink target, so he gets out okay. Back in bottom lane, Necrophos and Weaver. Playing very aggressive down this bottom lane. Going for the side chop here, he may pay the price here. Luckily there's a vision to save him, but there's gonna be a Gemini oh, attack it looks like. No, actually just a normal attack. He had a salve. If he got into the trees and survived that right click, he would have been able to salve up and turn very it around. Close. Very, very close to surviving there. Yep. Big loss getting killed. But on the bright side, at least Miracle's pretty zone. Another salve being used. And again, a rolling boulder on Mushi. And yeah, GH is playing ultra aggressive. He is having the time of his life. Has the salve here. And he wants more. They're probably going to get Ninja Boogie as well. It looks like Ninja Boogie does have Tango's and Salve himself. There's going to be a roll in a few seconds, I believe. But every time he's going in for this farm now, he's got 12 CS, which is decent, but not amazing. Fisher block mid Matu doesn't actually get stunned by this one. He just gets blocked off Moon, balls off with an Avatos, and will find the kill. So nice block from Jabs, even if he doesn't hit the stun. Back at top, though, Ninja Boogie once again. We've seen this story before, and Maneski are just coming to hate this story. They go down once. Bounty runs back at top. GH though. Find three heroes. He gets the boulder smash as the shackles come out, so he immediately cancels it. Oh my, oh my. Nothing's great. Going Mineski's way. It was a fantastic play. 
I mean, I don't know if they get that kill either way. GH still had a lot of HP, and it's like, on him. here was not right clicking, but. Nice size, size. Trying to bait in Miracle. He needs to be careful. He's got Fairy Fight. He's actually the one baiting, and Miracle and Kuro get the kill. Didn't even need to use the Fairy At least they get Bloods Bounties on Mineski's side, and yep. they actually are, are about 1k behind, which is not an insignificant amount. Oh. Um, top Tower being pressured, they steal the yep. first Catapult too, so very reminiscent of the last game. Yeah. Classic Ench things. I feel like every Ench game we're seeing this, you know, five minutes you usually take or at least severely damage a tier one. And he's just tanking the creep wave too. He's got two points and untouchable, so the amount of money he's taking from this creep wave is almost nothing. Yep. Tower's dead. And sick charges too to play around with, so. Matu looking for a uh, bottle. Bounty rune, uh, bounty rune, sorry, not bounty rune. Uh, he's gonna get caught out as he gets Avatos, but still alive though. Had some sick charges to play around with, and it's gonna get turned around on Jabs, who gets brought down by GH. Moon trying to chase GH, does hit him, and he needs to just throw the tree. Gets the kill, actually going with the way of Mushi here, so Kuro instead gonna get chased down now as well. It looks like the stifling daggers from Mushi. It's a roaming PA, and well, that's gonna roam and get you a couple of kills here. It looks like Mushi would love to get the last hits on these, and he does, gets a double kill. GH's roll in comes a little bit too late, and he may be a third. GH had a great start, but he may have just rolled into his death. Hits the three man stun, still alive, but now Pugna from the low ground, draining Ninja Boogie, but can't quite bring him down. Triple kill for Mushi. Miracle shows up, has the Beatles here, throws him out, doesn't catch Mushi with him, but catches Ninja Boogie, who has to clear it. And unfortunately for Ninja Boogie, he does not have a TP. So he will be Shikuchi'd on after. Needs to find some trees to juke, but doesn't have any. And double kill for Miracle as he rotates on in. Man, felt like an amazing little trade there for snagging Weaver kills is tough here with how many items he has. Oh. Rolling bottom lane. Boulder match to follow it up. Necrophos will be in some trouble here. Getting chunked away at by mind control, but doesn't quite have the damage to finish off the kill initially in Moon. He's here in Vin, it was a bait. They get the Avatars with a Reaper, perfectly played by Mineski. They want to defend this tier two. Just be a little bit careful, there's a lot of Mineski heroes rotating on up here. Avalanche coming out for the Tiny, gonna catch up Kuro, finish the follow up Moon. Doing good damage here, both supports on Liquid could be in some trouble here, Mineski. Finding some kills, potentially. The Stifling Dagger will take out the Venge here. Mushi wants more. He's incredibly low here. The Hex will save his life. Miracle getting chain disabled here. The Hex into the Shackles, into the Totem. He gets the time lapse off, though. Shikuchi away as well. Oh, but there's a Fissure. They didn't even have detection, I believe. They had one sentry that they hadn't planted, but with the time lapse off, he almost got away, but very nicely salvaged by Mineski. That was a huge fight, actually. That's like a 1500 gold swing, but even with that, they're just barely behind on gold. Neko realizing his mistake here now. Brought into a trap. It's gonna block some damage and some time, but with the enchant dispel, he's gonna fall with the Muntumbo rotation. Dramatically Liquid, who have smoked up themselves. They were near a Dire Ward. Not sure if it's spotted, but it doesn't look like it, because Mushi's gonna run right into this one. Got the Rolling Boulder, perfectly placed by GH, and They'll bring him down back at bottom though, it's the rotation from Mineski, Reaper not going to be enough, the level 1 heal only from Ninja Boogie at least, a solo smoke it looks like, even interesting call from him as Tiny does not really want to get involved, trying to finish a Blink Dagger, but while this is all going on, Mushi has been found at the top lane, first magnetize of the game will bring him down. Well. This is uh, becoming kind of catastrophic, much worse than Mineski's lead was towards Liquid last game. Back bottom Necro, blast into Life Drain, gonna get countered by Moon, who does get the combo off with a Reaper and an Avatos. Be careful, he's still playing around very dangerous territory here. Has a Tiny, in fact, behind him that he's about to run into. He's got so much HP though. Yeah. Actually, it's Moon who's oh, afraid of him. Okay. And a mud goal. Any body block, he's going for it. <laughs> the toss though. Oh, barely it's a up play. No, they're not done. They're gonna swap into a stun. They're gonna bring down Moon here. He's right in his mind to try and just TP out there because he was not in Scan, not going to spot this liquid rotation. They smoke all the way around. Moon's going to be the one on the high ground here. Immediate swap 
as Kuro puts himself in the firing line, gets the Matu Pugna back out to safety, and Necrocross is just going down to all this magic damage. Liquid are just melting Maneski. They take Tiny out with the mind control of Pedasus. They've got four dead immediately. Ooh, they didn't go in at the same time. Definitely could have been the first Weaver killed there. I don't know if they wanted to Reaper him, though, with the Aegis. The back line, Shaman. they're going to end up finding Shaman. Only a solo kill, a little expensive. Absolutely worth it for a single pickoff. Yep. For the high ground ward, that gets immediately removed, and... All Moosh you can do is split switch the mid T1 tower, trying to get what it's called. He can the Reaper completely gain the gate. I don't know if Maneski had seen the Aeon disc. They sure as hell didn't play like it because they just wasted the Necro ultimate. Weaver's gone chasing in, looking for Moon. Won't find the kill because he gets Hex up. The swap back going to catch out Ice Ice Ice. That should be the death of him. And the Surf Mord's being placed, but don't really see them doing a whole lot here. They can be cleaned up if Liquid want to commit for them. On the back lines is Miracle, who's just having a field day with these heroes. At least they put the wards it. down. It, it's going to clear the creep wave at least, so yeah. they can't easily just hit buildings or losing some health here. Comes the burst and... Huh? No, he's going to land. Surviving gets a spirit vessel charge as well. The echo time is there though. Jabs will save the day with his fresh picked up blink dagger. Gets a couple kills for paper with his life though. And the fight not over just yet. Ice 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 has gone charging into three heroes and that's not the place you want to be. Not with the spirit vessel charging you. No kills for you, say Liquid. Boulder Smash not even needed. Just goes flying through his corp corpse. Puts Maneski on the back foot. They've still got PA and Tiny alive, though. Liquid need to be careful about this one, but with Aegis on Miracle's hands, he's feeling pretty good about himself here. Does have to worry about the Aegis expiring. Ten seconds left on this one. Miracle needs to make sure the heal does not get cancelled. Coochie on up. Gonna be removed any second now. Oh, they go in as it expired. Does cancel the heal here. Miracle has to be very careful. He's just lost all of his health. Lost his Aegis as well. Moon. Brought down though, he overcommitted to try and go for that Weaver. He timed it perfectly with the Roche timer, but didn't have the detection to bring down the Weaver. And now Enchantress, MKB. Oh, big crit from Mushi with a Fissure. Actually brings down the Enchantress, but pays for it with his life. And Liquid are on the high ground with four dead for now, one respawning soon, but they'll get the melee barracks. You can really feel the, the impact of them being a little bit too far behind. If they're able to kill the Pugna instead of having to commit an Echo Slam, then you can save the Echo for another hero. And if toss combo off as the Aegis expires, yeah. that would have been a dead Weaver, but... I think it was just a case of both of the players realizing what was at stake. Yes. Miracle knew, he goes back just in time. Yep. Um, Necro in trouble in the mid lane, though. He's gonna put a Blade Melt down, but they've got so much HP, it doesn't even matter. Gets killed instantly, and another decrep on Tiny, he's in trouble, gets stunned, Spirit Vessel, now the Defusal Blade, he's taking a lot of right click damage from Miracle. He hits real hard. Yeah, that's just like a couple Gemini attacks, and suddenly he's out of the picture, at least feels like that way, and T3 Tower easily brought down just because Pugna can blast it from so far away. Now Liquid, yep. um, he's going to be able to hit impetuses uh, reliably Dyer's through BKB, and that's all pure damage. Can they blow up the Weaver? Miracle, Blink, Echo, Totem, Fissure, can they get a crit here? They get one, it's going to be just enough to bring down the win. And, and hypothetically, if Liquid does get grouped up, you could easily see them get wiped, not expecting that much damage. Mushi gets greedy for a T1 tower, he's just going to BKB, he needs to find a way out of this one, goes for the TP, there's a swap though, and... I think Mushi well. perhaps thought BKB TP was unstoppable in a, that moment. Doesn't find his way out, and that's even his 10 second BKB being used. That's a, a giant mistake. It's the only yeah. way to, to explain that one. 10 second BKB gets a tier 1 tower, still ends up getting killed by the enemy team. It's like Decrep and Veil vale is is really good to have a damage block against. So it, it, is, it is beneficial for his team, but. Maybe he needs damage or something. Looks like Shadow Shaman's gonna die uh, in the safe lane here. Just trying to push out the wave, but this Observer Ward they placed earlier, easy kill there, and that's gonna make the, the high ground push a little bit easier. There's a Kuro throwback. 2009 Dota 1 days. Kuro feeling like a noob. Not feeling like a bit of a noob right now. He just outplayed Mushi, took him down in the top lane with the swap, and moves next. Swaps at the perfect time, mid four staff, so it cancels both of his mobility items and a guaranteed kill when he's out of position. They can't even come forward and destroy the sentry. Yeah, they want to get rid of these wards, but... Does pipe the buildings at least, so it buys them a little bit of health. There you go. But there's the tiny buyback. How can they find an initiation? It's going to be hard. They've got a ward on the high ground. Jabs knows that they can see him. How's he going to find an opening? 
And this Nether Blast is just gonna be just leaving these racks in a couple of seconds here. Echo Slam goes in, it's just gonna catch on GH here. No, it's actually gonna include the Weaver. Nope, Weaver's outside, he gets away just in time. Mushi in full retreat here, has a beetle on him, so he's being chased down. Only Earth Spirit dying on the liquid side, immediate buyback, as well as the Mineski deaths. Shaker wants back in, knows he needs to defend, but already the racks are dead. Matu able to just blast them both down simultaneously. Moon four stuff out of the life drain, but yeah. they've got no Echo Slam. Uh, maybe they're gonna toss in their Earth Shaker or something. That's what it kind of looks like. Uh, oh, tossing it back over the back. wall. Uh, the Fisha, so it keeps him inside the base, but Kuro, he's there. Jabs gets in. in. He goes on the outside. Jabs needs to be careful though. That's a die back from him. And Weaver also gonna buy, uh, buy back and time lapse in. Miracle full health immediately. The swap save from Kuro was nice, but Jabs made sure they could finish off the kill. Unfortunately for Maneski, I believe this is going to be the end, of, at least the end of their racks here, and perhaps this series as a whole. Maneski, they fought to the bitter end, and they're going to keep on fighting, but down Mega Creeps, there's just not really much of a play to be made. They have no wave, they have no Battle Fury on PA, no items on Tiny. They're trying to just get the last few couple of kills here, but that's just misery, despair, and death for them, as Moon will be the last death of the game. He's going to go to Matu. Wants an extra kill on the board to help out his team. So, what a team fight and what a game from Liquid. I mean, game one looked a little rough, but watching game two.